Hey guys, welcome to another comic book review. This is Star Wars Galaxy's Edge number two. Uh, my name is Chris Sarda. This is Chaos and Comics, which you can find on Twitter at Chaos and Comics um, on Twitter and Instagram, actually. So this book is actually pretty dang fun. It is written by Ethan Sachs. Uh, art is by Will uh, Slinney. And I'm pretty sure that I picked up uh, I picked up one of the variant covers. Perhaps it's the Will Slinney variant cover because uh, I really think that's a cool cover. Greedo on the cover. Now what this comic does right is that it, it does the thing where it mixes the old lore that we all know, whether it's Clone Wars era or original trilogy era, uh, but then continues to develop the current era, the First Order era, which is something I really, really enjoy. So it doesn't just sit in, in the past but it uses the past to develop the future, uh, which, which is just actually really fun for me. So uh, the Jedi, whose name I never remember, Kayati Mundi, so his lightsaber uh, has something to do in this story. Uh, and uh, overall, with the exception of Greedo and Jabba the Hutt, who, uh, who, is it the past? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's the past, obviously. It has to be, right? Um, Everyone is a new character. So we're getting to know new people, which I like. Develop the world, world build a lot more. Star Wars is really the original at it. I don't know that it's always the best at it, but I enjoy when it happens. I get sick of Luke, Leia, and Han. Let's, uh, let's get new characters, let's build it out. And that's what this book does, it's real fun. Also, it is basically the way it's, it's uh, setting up to be like a heist film, so a heist comic. Which I, which I also enjoy immensely. They need to go steal something. Uh, they are, you know, middle of the line characters. They're not necessarily fighting for good, but not evil either. You can relate to the main characters, so far at least. And, uh, and really that's Star Wars in general. I mean, Luke Skywalker was the only good character. And then, you know, now a lot of people hate Last Jedi because of his one second of being not sure. You know, so spoiler alert for Last Jedi if you haven't watched it and then you're watching this for some reason. Then art-wise, uh, Will, Will uh, Slinney is lucky because as far as characters that are old, not, you know, he draws them fine, but then he gets to design and, and actually draw new characters, which you, you don't have to, he doesn't have to worry about them being photorealistic or looking like, uh, looking like Mark Hamill and... Uh, I can't remember who played Han Solo. His name slips my mind as I'm recording this. So overall, just really good book, really fun book. I hope it it really actually does mix well with uh, uh, the rest of the Star Wars lore on a higher level. Obviously, we're going to see similarities between the park and and the comic book, but I would like to like see the mixture between the films and stuff. The films like always set themselves apart. For the most part, and it, when it, when they do mix with the other lore, it's exciting, like Rogue One did with uh, Lord Fishburne's character, whose name I forget. Also, I just can't remember names today. Maybe I need coffee. So um, uh, overall, very cool. You should pick this up. This is a good Star Wars thing to pick up if you are younger, if you want to start with out uh, any any worry about having this deep knowledge of the past. This is the book to do it because you'll get little bits of it and they're pushing forward the new stuff, which I enjoy. So thank you guys for watching.